Wyatt here at the Team O'Neill Rally School again. Why are we standing here by a plow truck? What are we doing out here in the snow? What well, we want to show you guys, um, most people think that a four-wheel drive vehicle really only has an advantage accelerating and holding grip around corners and that sort of thing. And one of the things that people tend to forget or might have never learned is that when you're in four-wheel drive, that affects your braking as well. Whenever it's slippery, there's a big advantage to putting that vehicle in four-wheel drive. So we're gonna show you and we'll talk about why it works, but basically, we brought this thing out just because it's the one of the biggest, heaviest things we have. So it's gonna really dramatically show this vehicle doesn't want to stop. It's on good snow tires, but still it's just a ton of weight. We'll be in two-wheel drive and I've got the ABS off. When we get going, we're gonna get to these orange cones. I'm gonna slam on the brakes and see how long it takes me to stop. And then I'm gonna put it in four-wheel drive and do the same test again. First test, two-wheel drive, no ABS. Second test, four-wheel drive, no ABS. And then just because it's the internet and I know it's gonna happen, people are gonna say, turn the ABS on and it's all gonna be the same. We're gonna find out. Third test, we're gonna do it in two-wheel drive with the ABS on. And the fourth test, we're gonna do it in four-wheel drive with the ABS on and see what kind of results we get. All I've done is I've pulled the fuses necessary to disable traction control and ABS and stability control in this thing. And then I'll put it back in um, so that we have ABS and everything works just as it would from the factory. Just to make this test super fair, I've got a nice wide lane here. You can see I did one run already just to test it. But each time I come through, when I hit the brakes, I'm gonna pick a fresh patch of snow to hit the brakes on. So hopefully um, we won't be able to use the argument that it was getting more icy or anything like that. I'll try and hit the brakes in a slightly different spot each time just to make it fair. So here we go, let's give it a shot and see what happens. All right, so one of the unfortunate side effects of my uh, ABS and traction delete fuse removal modification is I don't have a speedometer. So what I'm gonna do is get it in a second gear. I'll pick a speed this run. I can't have the wheels spinning, so let's see. 3,000 RPM, second gear, hit the brake. Okay, I'm gonna put a cone out where we just managed to stop. Here, let's level with the plow. So, test two. We're in four-wheel drive, high range. Wow, I can accelerate, this is a wonderful thing. My speedometer works again for some reason, that's good. I'm in second gear. I need to be going at 3,000 RPMs. Here we are, same speed we were just doing, hit the brake. Round three, we're in two-wheel drive. I'm gonna go second gear, two-wheel drive, ABS, traction control, everything is on. I will get up to 3,000 RPM in second gear. I will tell you it accelerates better with the traction control on. Here we are, 3,000 RPM, everything's wonderful. Hit the brake hard. All right, so this is round four. Four-wheel drive. ABS on, everything's on, traction control, all the fancy stuff. 3,000 RPM in second gear, here we go. Orange cone, slam on the brakes. All right, so that was interesting, just to come out and give that a try and hopefully uh, we all learned a little bit there. I know I did, more than I thought, really. Um, this vehicle, tons of weight on a really slippery road, 3,000 RPM in second gear, hitting the brakes at those cones. In four-wheel drive, with no ABS on, we managed to bring the vehicle to a stop here. In four-wheel drive with the ABS on, the vehicle took an extra yard or a little more to come to a stop. Is that, you know, the difference between life and death? Probably not. Um, you know, does that mean you're gonna run out into an intersection? Probably not. But what you probably saw here is the big difference came when we were in two-wheel drive hitting the bricks. Two-wheel drive with no ABS, it took us this much longer to come to a full stop. That's definitely in the territory of 
you know, hey, if your stop sign's back there, now you're in the middle of the road getting T-boned by somebody, or now you've run into another vehicle or an animal or something like that. Um, and the difference, honestly, between two-wheel drive without ABS and two-wheel drive with ABS was really small. Um, obviously, it took just a little longer with the ABS on, which I'm sure we all expected um, on a very slippery road like this, but really not that much. So it just goes to show you it's one more reason if you're driving in the snow and ice, um, especially if you're going up and down hills and you've got you know traffic to deal with or whatever it might be, four wheel drive will get you stopped you know a lot quicker. It's a lot better on the brakes, not just you know accelerating to get you up a hill. Um, so hope that was fun. If you guys have any comments, please add them in the section below. Feel free if you like our video, subscribe to the channel. We're always putting stuff out. And if you got any ideas for some more videos, um, leave them below and we'd be more than happy to make them if we got the time.